Ice powers are one of the most common power sets in all of comics for a variety of reasons, but the main reason is very simple. It looks cool, and it can be used in a variety of different ways. Which brings us to the two iconic characters in today's versus battle, Captain Cold and Mr. Freeze. Captain Cold and Mr. Freeze became known over the years for their fights with The Flash and Batman, and these days they are household names in DC Comics. They have had some of the best arcs when it comes to villains in this universe, and they are often difficult opponents for the Scarlet Speedster and the Caped Crusader. So it's going to be interesting to see who would win in a battle between these two Masters of Ice. In this video, we will briefly be going over the history of Captain Cold and Mr. Freeze, and we'll also talk about their powers and abilities with the goal of determining who would win if these two villains were to fight to the death. Captain Cold made his debut in Showcase No. 8 back in June 1957 by Carmine Infantino and Josh Broom. He became one of the most iconic Flash villains of all time and has often been the leader of the rogues. His real name is Leonard Snart and he grew up in an abusive household, which led to his life of crime, which put him at odds with the Flash and this pushed him to create the tools to defeat the Scarlet Speedster. This in a nutshell is how he became Captain Cold and rose through the criminal underworld. On the other hand, Mr. Freeze's character is a bit more complicated. He made his debut back in February of 1959 in Batman number 121 as Mr. Zero. He would later be named Mr. Freeze in the Adam West Batman series of the 60s, which is how he has been known ever since. After the Crisis on Infinite Earths event in the mid-80s, Freeze was revamped yet again, adding the tragic backstory of his wife and revealing his identity as Dr. Victor Fries, which added a layer of complexity to his character. It could be argued that both characters have the same type of ice abilities, however there is a caveat. While Mr. Freeze has very traditional freezing abilities, Captain Cold's gun is a lot more complex in the comics. Captain Cold's cold gun can create a field of negative thermodynamics and absorbs the energy and momentum of everything it reaches. There have been even moments in the comics where it has been treated as pretty much stopping time itself, which, considering the character's contrast to the Flash, is meant to be a way to counter the Scarlet Speedster's abilities. He also has a genius level intellect and his ice powers can even be considered super strength in a way, as he can use his ice to lift heavy objects. After briefly fusing his DNA with his cold gun, he was able to project blasts of cold and manipulate absolute zero temperatures. Instead of a cold gun, Mr. Freeze has a freeze gun, which can also freeze people or objects. A few of Freeze's most prominent powers are his intellect and his sub-zero physiology, which gives him the powers of cold adaptation, thermokinesis, and decelerated aging. Because of his physiology, Freeze primarily stays in a cryo suit, which keeps his body at freezing temperatures and helps to increase his strength and durability. Considering they are both villains, we'll just assume that one of these villains stepped on the other's turf, which led to their confrontation. For further context, this battle is going to feature both characters post-Crisis on Infinite Earths iterations because these are the most developed versions of the characters. This battle would be one of our more one-sided confrontations. Captain Cold's cold gun would play a major role in this battle because of the scale and impact that it has. This is a weapon that is powerful enough to stop Superman's heat vision and slow down the Flash, which are two feats that Mr. Freeze has never managed to achieve. Due to his many battles with the Flash, Cold has also gotten used to quicker reactions and having to react on the fly, so it can be argued that if both characters had to shoot their respective gun at the same time, Captain Cold is much more likely to draw his faster. Perhaps the biggest edge that Mr. Freeze has in this battle is the fact that he has his cryo suit, which could provide him with some extra resistance, but it could be argued that the fight itself wouldn't last very long. Now if this battle resulted in the two characters fighting hand to hand, Captain Cold may be the better brawler between the two even if this type of fighting isn't really either character's strong suit. In many ways, the odds in this battle heavily favor Captain Cold when the two villains are broken down. Many fans may have Freeze as their pick since the character's gotten a lot more adaptations and exposure, but the truth of the matter is that the leader of the rogues has this in the bag. Captain Cold has much superior freezing technology, which is something that could give him a huge edge in this battle. If we're comparing their comic book history, Captain Cold has far greater feats. The ones we've mentioned involving Superman and The Flash prove that he scales much higher than Mr. Freeze in a technology department. Most of you voted for Mr. Freeze, but we choose to go with Captain Cold. Feel free to argue your case as to who you think would win and why down in the comments section. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Who do you think would win in a battle between Mr. Freeze and Captain Cold? Let us know by leaving a comment below this video. While you're down there, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on another versus video. If you like any more content from us in the meantime, feel free to check out one of the two videos on your screen right now. 
Thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.